Bryant took the boys to go get a few things done and get the oil changed in my car for me. So Anna was napping and I had a little bit of time left to myself. And so looking at my calendar and realizing that we are going into the second week of January, I needed to go ahead and get some of my seeds organized and start thinking about what I wanted to start for the garden and how much I wanted to start for the garden. A lot of people have this very organized garden planning, knowing exactly where they're placing things and what they're doing way ahead of time. And that just doesn't work for me. I tried it. I would love to be that organized because I am an organized person, a detailed OCD perfectionist type person very much. <laughs> and But when it comes to the garden, even though that is something I would very, very much enjoy being more organized at, with the kids and everything else that I'm doing, the garden is where I am the least organized, honestly, other than maybe a few of my drawers around the house. Uh, the garden is where I'm, I'm the least organized. So since Anna's taking a nap, I did start going through my seeds, deciding what I want to do. And in January, the only seeds I'm really going through are my cold weather crops, like my um, broccoli and Brussels and things. And then I do start a few of my herbs and a few of my flowers. So for dinner, what I decided to do was some salmon with a honey chili sauce and some sweet potatoes because I still had that wheelbarrow of sweet potatoes that I harvested in a early video. I think it might have been maybe my second or third video I posted on here. And it's been in the shop and we really haven't used very many of them. So I decided to cut up the sweet potatoes. Anna woke up and is helping me. To do this, we're just going to roast everything together in the same pan in the oven so it all cooks fast, easy, all in one pan. And you want to make sure that you're cutting your sweet potatoes thin enough to where they will be able to cook as fast as the salmon. If you find that your potatoes are still too thick and your salmon's done but your potatoes need a little more time, it is okay to take the salmon out, make sure you keep it warm, and then just, just roast your potatoes a little bit longer. So here we are going to be making the sauce. My, uh, I did not clean my oven from the day before. So, I mean my oven, my stove top from the day before. So it is dirty. My stove top typically tends to stay dirty even though I do clean it. But anyways, to make the sauce, I did three tablespoons of honey. Heaping tablespoons. I'm not really these are rough measurements y'all. I'm not real good at measuring on it And the rest of these I honestly don't even have measurements. So uh, I did roughly three tablespoons of honey and I want to say I started started with a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of ginger half a teaspoon of fresh black pepper a teaspoon of chili powder that is your main flavoring along with the honey so you do want quite a bit of that I did one fourth teaspoon of cayenne a half a teaspoon of salt and then I do mince some fresh garlic I ferment my garlic it is actually from the garlic that I harvested last year it was probably like early summer when I harvested it because I planted in the fall and uh, when I, after I harvest it, I peel everything and I ferment it. And so I have this nice, delicious fermented garlic to use in the kitchen throughout the rest of the year. And I do, I have gotten to where I prefer the flavor of fermented garlic over regular garlic. So y'all should try it because it's really good. So I ended up using, now I did mix all of this and I do add, I don't know, maybe like, one fourth cup to a half a cup of avocado oil and I mix it all together and um, I do end up tweaking some of the seasonings adding a little bit more here and there as I tasted it so you want to make it according to your taste but the the main flavors that you want to taste are the honey and the chili powder and you do want you know a, a tad bit of salt on the back end because um, it complements the honey and the chili powder a lot. 
So I ended up doing, I would say probably six of the fermented garlic cloves. Now fermented garlic is a little stronger, but I really didn't get a huge garlic flavor and we do like garlic. So I ended up doing for us and our taste buds, six of the fermented garlic cloves. I believe I added a little bit more chili powder. I'm trying to think a little bit more onion powder and possibly a little bit of salt. And I think that's all that I ended up adding to it. Um, but you definitely like as you're mixing this up, you definitely want to be tasting it and see what you like. But this was a very delicious sauce. And uh, so once the honey is melted, I'm just trying to get everything mixed up together, nice and melted, incorporated. I don't want chunks of anything, like if the onion powder is kind of lumpy, I don't want a big lump of onion powder because you don't want to bite into that. You want everything mixed in and mixed up as smooth and as thorough as possible. Now, before I put everything in the oven, and you don't have to do this step, but I did take avocado oil and I sprinkled a little bit on top of the sweet potatoes. And then I sprinkled a little salt just to taste. And I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. And that is just to bring out some of the flavor, adds a little sweetness, just to bring out the sweetness that the sweet potatoes already have. And so I'm going to mix that up with my hands and coat that really, really well. You do not have to do this part. You can just put the potatoes in there with the salmon if you want to. But I went ahead and I coated everything really good. I mixed it up on top of this parchment paper because I don't want anything sticking to my pans. And honestly, I use parchment paper a lot because I don't want anything touching my pans because I don't have the healthiest pans to use. But anyways, I'm going to make sure that I spread this out nice and even, as thin as I can get it so everything cooks fine. I put the salmon on top of it. And I'm scooping the sauce on top of that. Now I am going to have a little sauce left over. And that's because when the salmon comes out from being cooked, I'm going to be putting sauce on top of it. Again, I'm going to top it off with some extra sauce. So I am preheating my oven to 375 degrees. And I do have it in there roasting for about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. You want to keep an eye on your salmon. You don't want to get dried out. If your sweet potatoes need a little bit longer, just take the salmon out and you can continue to cook your potatoes.